predict next year's climate change CO2 emissions using AI? Okay, we're not actually using a neural network for this, but we are using a machine learning library called TensorFlow. First of all, we need to get reliable CO2 data because we don't want to be showing predictions um, from incorrect data. That's just going to confuse the AI and we're going to be very confused or angry when we get the wrong result. This is the one that we found. The next thing we did is we created a, a very, very basic TensorFlow script um, that basically takes in that data um, and then iterates through it and tries to figure out what, how, is the, um, how are the numbers going up and how can we uh, predict it. There's something called the linear regression uh, algorithm and here it is on the screen. It's a very basic algorithm. We can give the machine learning script to try and predict the result and that is going to be our predict function. The next thing it's going to do is it's going to iterate um, We've set it to 20,000 times over that data, and then it's going to look at the different predictions it's made, and then it's going to find um, something called a the, the sort of most accurate one it thinks. And the more iterations it does over this data, the more accurate it gets, but the, it, the longer it takes to actually make that prediction. So you can actually go and see our project working right now. If you go to bluewear.co.uk forward slash builds forward slash CO2 ML, you can find this project, you can see what our AI predicted for 2019. Um, I think it predicts, usually it's different every time, but it predicts um, about 411 parts per million. Um, actually, the, the, the actual statistics so far is 410 um, or 410.8 or something like that. So it's very, very close and it got a very good accurate score. And I'll be very interested at the end of this year to see if the AI was correct or whether the scientists were correct. I think probably the scientists, seeing as this only took me an afternoon. Um, and we're also going to keep this going. So every single year we get more CO2 data. We're going to feed that into the algorithm and the algorithm will get better and better at predicting. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short, short video on our one day Blueware build predicting CO2 emissions um, with machine learning.